Good afternoon and welcome to Toledo Today. We have a great show planned for you and we hope you enjoy it. Here's your host, Eric Burden. Good afternoon. Today on Toledo Today, we have Linda Parra, president and founder of Nuestra Gente, which is the Toledo area's first Spanish radio station. Nuestra Gente, translated into English, means our people. Linda received the go-ahead from the Federal Communications Commission on December 31st to air on 96.5. So Linda, go ahead and just tell us all about the station. Okay, on December 31st, 2014, Nuestra Gente Community Breathe In, which is a non-profit organization that um, provides services in Lucas County to the Latino community, uh, received the permit to build a station, um, 24 hours Spanish radio station, on the frequency 96.5. At the moment, we start um, working on the projects and also we need to raise money. So this is gonna be on 96.5. This is broadcasted to the greater Toledo area, basically? Yeah, yeah we're gonna cover Toledo, Oregon, and Ross for those uh, cities to begin with the station, and then we will expand the, um, the uh, to another cities when we get some more money. <laughs> so this is kind of uh, a test run, so to speak. If it does well in this area, then you will look into You can expand it. Farther. Yeah, but you need more money to do it because it's right, more equipment. Right, right. What is going to be playing on the station? We're gonna have, uh, it's gonna be 24 hour Spanish radio station. It's gonna be Catholic. We will have adult shows with community leaders and people from the community. And then on the night time, we will link with a network. Okay, um, so I understand it's still kind of in the uh, in the fundraising process here. What is the what is the main process that you are using to raise the money? We need to raise thirty thousand dollars to start buying the equipment, and we just did a fundraiser two weeks ago um, to start raising the money that we need. Every month we're gonna do uh, fundraisers to try to get just a little bit every month to to make our goal, the $30,000 to get the equipment to start running the station. Mm -hmm. And the funds you do raise, what does that what does that go towards? The funds is going to start buying the equipment and also we really look to a studio. We have the studio, but now we need the equipment to start with. We have also, we had until um, June 2016 to start operating the station. 18 months from December 31st, 2014, to build the station from the FCC permit. Okay, okay. You have a um, you have a station now. I understand on AM radio. Yeah. Uh, tell us just a little bit about that. This is a Nuestra Gente radio show that you can see here on, uh, on our teacher. Uh, Nuestra Gente radio show start on 2005. It was. Uh, it is it's still the only radio show in Spanish here in Toledo. It is a community radio show where we invite organizations to come to the show and telling us and provide information about the services and programs that they serve to the community here in Lucas County. So we'll be having a lot of people coming to the show, different organizations like United Way, Gallon Tacax, um, um, the um, Toledo Lucas County Health Department, um, a lot of organizations has, has been already on the mm. show. Uh, we have a um, college teachers that come to the show and provide like, information. Um, sounds like you have a great start. We have to go to a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back with more on Toledo's up and coming radio station. Uh, Nuestra Gente from founder and CEO, Linda Parra. Let's go back to the studio. Here at Sports Nightly, we know a thing or two about sports. That's why we always deliver our highlights faster than anyone else. Here you go, guy. Every night we use the latest modern technology. Hi, Bob. Hi, Ken. We cover more games in town than anyone. Yeah. Eric needs makeup. Makeup's good. In five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to Sports Nightly. Welcome back. For those of you just tuning in, our guest today is Linda Parra, president and founder of upcoming local radio station Nuestra Gente. Um, so how else can people get involved in this radio station? 
Um, there are different. Else can people help? I guess I should say. People can be connected with us through our website www.nuestragentecommunityprojects.org or through my email Linda Parra at nuestragentecommunityprojects.org. There is a link on our website where you say contact us, and people can send us an email in telling us that they would like to volunteer. Also, we offer on the fundraisers our teachers. Uh, we just ask for donations, and we give it away the teachers of. Um, our organization also in the back say about the radio show so you can come to the fundraiser and get really nice teachers and we just ask for a donation we don't put a price on it the station is also the name for the radio station is Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe and it will be the frequency 96.5 FM uh -huh. So the uh, so the AM station that's the one you have right now and uh, it's every yep. five is the one we are uh, the one you're excuse me the 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 one that I have right now is on WCWA 1230 AM and as that show this show has been running since 2005 so we right now we get a permit to build a 24 hour Spanish radio station that the frequency will be 96.5 FM 24 hours in Spanish. Okay, very nice. Unfortunately, we are about out of time here. Um, thank you for watching very much. Tune in tomorrow as we speak to Tommy Lee about the Mudhens opening game. From all of us here at Toledo today, have a great evening.